What's going on guys, it's Shane, I'm back here again with another video. Today we're going to be checking out a new game called South Noble City Schools, owned by Vision Bus Services. Um, a subscriber asked me to check this out, this is actually his game. Um, he does have a YouTube channel and he is a frequent viewer here on my channel, um, so shout out to Matrix. Um, and I believe this is his game that he's been working on. So we're going to go ahead and check it out. Um, I'm not sure what all buses are in the game. Uh, you've got the standard UI here. Uh, here's the C2. I do believe these are Gen X buses. And uh, he has been getting blacklisted um, in different companies. Um, but however, he did show me a screenshot of him purchasing the buses from Mike. Um, so if you are a group owner and have him blacklisted, uh, it would be rightful to unblacklist him, unblacklist him um, because... It's obviously valid. Um, so here we are. Um, but like I said, I think they're Gen X buses. Uh, just so you know, um, he did purchase them. Um, let's see here. Yeah, no, so we got a C2, and this is Indiana spec. Uh, okay, maybe it's not Gen X. I don't know, because the seating is very weird. You do have to pull the uh, thing up. Uh, let me, here, let's check out the other buses actually really quickly. I don't know if there are any. Let's just check. There's that. Let's see, 100. There is a vision over there I can see. Another, let's see, what is that? Is that a C2? Yes. Let's try 150. Oh, there we go. So let's check it out. Yeah, no, so the screenshots looked valid to me. Um, I must say, these curbs are very huge. <laughs> Those are humongous. Um, so, first look at the game. Um, it looks like it's just going to be kind of an open game. I'm already seeing something over there that's throwing me off. I'm going to have to go check that out. I don't know. Okay. We got some buttons here. Some proximity prompts. Okay. Um... Okay, one thing I will say, you need to fix your seating for sure because uh, it's it's got you looking way up there when you should be looking down here. Some some things are not aligned properly. As you can see, the seat here isn't aligned with the wheel. Um, I think this is Gen X. Uh, I could be wrong, um, but if it is, I don't know. I wasn't really told, so... Also, I find it kind of weird that the buses are parked forward. Isn't that weird? I don't know how they do it in Indiana, though, so. Okay, that can get quite annoying as well. Having to look at that proximity prompt. Let's see how we're good on fuel. I just want to check something out over here. Oh, boy. Oh boy, here we go. Okay. See here, so in this kind of review, I'm just looking at obviously the buses um, and the the builds. You know, obviously, uh, I don't know if you build this stuff yourself. Um, obviously, the house the houses are meshes. Um, I'm trying to look at these buildings up here. Okay, so that's not what I thought it was. Good. So we've got here. Oh, gonna run that stop sign. My apologies. So it looks like we got some pretty simple buildings here. Um, definitely oversized. <laughs> um, I'm not sure how great of a builder you are, but I will say these are quite oversized. Look at those doors. Um, so a tip to you would be to definitely scale your buildings. Um, what I mean by that is get like a build rig um, in your game and kind of go off of that, build off of that. Or even a bus. You can get a bus in your game and kind of try to align it with that. Um, but yeah, your builds are definitely oversized. <laughs> Which isn't a bad thing, honestly. You know, well... It can be a bad thing if you got a bunch of people playing your game, but, you know, if it's your first game, you know, it's no problem. Everybody makes mistakes. 
Let's see what do we got here? What kind of building is this? Just a, a normal building. But uh, if these are your own builds, which I don't know if they are or not, but if they are props to you for building uh, your own builds, a lot of people just uh, try to grab builds off the uh, toolbox. Which, I mean, that's... Try to go to the left here. Those brakes are quite annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Say vehicle stops at railroad, railroad crossings. Oh god. Okay. So the map looks to be just some buildings and a bunch of houses. Um I wish I had like an overview of the layout of like the road systems and stuff, but um, let's see if you have any other stores or buildings we can look at, um, because that would be pretty cool to see. One thing I will say um, that you should add is definitely maybe some street lights. Um, you know, it gets like some light poles out here and stuff like that. Uh, little stuff like that definitely helps. Like I said, I don't know how old this game is. Let me check real quick. How old is this game? Created 129.23. Okay, so it was created like a few days ago. Probably about just over a week. Okay, you got some do not enter signs over there. Let's see what that's about. So for the most part over here, it just looks like a bunch of trees and houses. Uh, okay. So you got, okay, I like that. That's pretty cool. How you have the enter one way there. Um, yeah, no, so it looks like houses and like cul-de-sacs here. Uh, another thing is um, UI uh, above the uh, schools and stuff. Um, it doesn't take, uh, it's not that hard to do, honestly. Um, it's not very advanced, so you could probably look it up on YouTube. Uh, I definitely try to get something like that going because you don't really know which, um, which school you're actually at unless you're reading a sign or something. Uh, I like this area right here. This is cool. Like roundabout area. This is really cool. I actually got to give you props for this. That was cool. Very nice road layouts you have for sure. Okay, now we're going to go towards the other side of the map, just to check it out. Yeah, that proximity prompt is very annoying. You can, you can fix that as well in the properties. Over there, it looks kind of the same as well, just houses. But yeah, no, definitely add some some more stores, stuff like that. Um, you know, stuff like that definitely improves uh, the environment of the game. As I get a voice crack there, I swear. Those are so annoying. Um... See, I see a building over there to the north of the lot. Uh, we're going to go check that out. Uh, can I go this way? No, don't think so. Let's 
Speedometers don't work on the inside. Got like some sort of tablet thing right there. Um, I'm not too familiar with all the stuff inside the visions. Uh, I don't know what year this is either. I think he said he was working on a 2024. I think that was him that said that. It might have been somebody else, but I think he showed me a picture of a 2024, and this might actually be it. I, th I don't know. I'm not too sure. But uh, yeah, we're going to check this side out and then wrap up the video. Okay, so it's basically the same building as that one over there, but a different color. Okay. Not bad, honestly, not bad. Um, you've got yourself um, some buses, which is obviously needed to make a school bus simulator. Um, I don't know if you really wanted a review on the game. You just told me to check it out, uh, which I'm here checking it out. Um, but just to give you some tips, um, obviously, uh, add add things that would make the environment uh, more alive. You know, stores. Um, you've got areas where trees aren't uh, very exist existing. I don't know if I said that right, but... Um, you could add trees over here and stuff. Uh, obviously, rescale these buildings. <laughs> Look how big this door is. Oh my god. I'm gonna give you... I'm gonna drive you crazy with that. Okay. Those windows and doors are way too big. You're just gonna have to rescale that whole building. Um, but yeah, other than that, you know, it's not bad. Your road layout's pretty cool. Uh, definitely not as plain as other games. Uh, so you got something going there. Um, but yeah, um, you know, I definitely keep working on it for sure. Um, a lot of people kind of lose motivation if, you know, no one's playing their games or anything like that. So, um, just add some of the stuff, like I said, uh, I'll, you know, do a follow up video if you get updates out and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's my reaction or not my reaction, my review on, uh, South Noble City Schools. Uh, Indiana spec, I do believe. Um, your lot's pretty cool too. Obviously, add some sort of lot building. Um, that would be cool as well with like an interior. But yeah, um, if you guys do wish to play this game yourself, it will be linked in the description down below. Uh, but uh, give them some feedback. Uh, if you guys have any ideas of what uh, Matrix should add in the game, uh, let them know. Um, cause any and all feedback is great for anyone. I'm just gonna go ahead and park this thing. You have a lot of bus spots. I don't know why there's a vision just hanging out over there. The numbers is 150. Okay, I'm gonna back it in. I don't know if they do that in Indiana. I'm sure they do. But anyway, like I said, if you guys do wish to play the game yourself, it will be linked in the description down below. Um, with that being said, if you guys liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And uh, I will catch you guys next time.